Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Today, we'll be delving into the remarkable life and career of General Matthew Bunker Ridgway, a true titan in the United States Army. As we uncover the pivotal roles he played in shaping the U.S. military throughout the 20th century, we'll explore his leadership during World War II, the Korean War, and his lasting impact on military doctrine. So, buckle up and get ready for an incredible journey through the life of the Iron Major himself. In the annals of military history, few figures stand as prominent as General Matthew Bunker Ridgway. March 3, 1895, July 26, 1993, a veritable titan in the United States Army. His formidable tactical acumen, ironclad tenacity, and inspirational leadership across multiple 20th century conflicts, including the cataclysmic World War II and the fraught Korean War, earned him the epithet Iron Major. A linchpin in the U.S. military apparatus, this biography delves into the life, career, and enduring impact of his monumental contributions to American military lore. Born amid the bustling environs of Fort Monroe, Virginia, Ridway was destined for military greatness, his lineage steeped in martial tradition, with his father, Thomas Ridway, an artillery officer. Schooled in various states, he ultimately entered the hallowed halls of the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1913. Graduating in 1917, he embarked on his storied career as a second lieutenant, assigned to the 3rd Infantry Regiment. Despite the absence of World War I combat, his service spanned diverse roles, including a sojourn in the Philippines from 1922 to 1924. The interwar years saw Ridway's star ascend as he attended the United States Army Infantry School, the Command and General Staff College, and the Army War College, honing his skills for loftier command. World War II's ominous approach saw him tasked with crafting airborne forces for the U.S. Army, birthing the 82nd Airborne Division and, subsequently, the 101st Airborne Division. The crucible of World War II tested Ridway's mettle. As a major general, he marshaled the 82nd Airborne Division during Operation Husky, the Allies' Sicilian invasion in July 1943, capturing vital objectives and disrupting enemy defenses. June 1944, found him at the helm of the Normandy D-Day invasion, securing the essential La Fire bridgehead. Subsequent promotions saw him commanding the XVII Airborne Corps, participating in the legendary Battle of the Bulge and the Rhine Crossing. Post-World War II, Ridway oversaw the American zone in Germany, rebuilding and re-establishing civil authority. The Korean War's outbreak in June 1950 summoned him to command the 8th United States Army stabilizing the precarious Korean Peninsula situation and repelling North Korean forces, ultimately defending South Korea. Elevated to general, Ridway succeeded General Dwight D. Eisenhower as Supreme Allied Commander Europe SACUR, fortifying NATO's military might and deterring Soviet belligerence. In 1953, he became Army Chief of Staff, serving until his 1955 retirement. Ridgway's legacy encapsulates a consummate, devoted leader, instrumental in shaping the U.S. Army's airborne forces and playing pivotal roles in World War II and the Korean War. His indelible influence on military doctrine, tactics, and organization leaves an enduring imprint on the U.S. Army and the United States Armed Forces. Thank you so much for joining us on this fascinating exploration of General Matthew Bunker Ridgway's life and career. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding and appreciation for the extraordinary contributions he made to American military history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating content like this. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Until next time, take care and stay curious.